It's been a while, I know. <sighs> What's going on, people? Let's get straight into this one. I've got some bad news and I've got some good news. The bad news is, is that a few weeks ago now, I was playing against Derby and in the game, I ended up fracturing one of my ribs. Another one's been displaced a little bit, which is annoying. This is actually the first time I've been able to pick up the camera and talk to you guys. Crazy. Who knew that a fractured rib could be so painful, eh? The good news is, I've not been sitting around just feeling sorry for myself, doing nothing. I've actually been really productive. Over these last few weeks or so, I've been working on something that's going to be incredible for any aspiring pros out there. I've been building something that's going to help any of you guys out there who are trying to become professional footballers actually fulfill your dreams. So it's actually going to be massive. It's game changing, but it's currently in the oven. It's cooking. It's not ready quite just yet. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. So let's get into this one. So it's actually mad how I did my rib in the game. I went for a... Uh, the ball's coming up to their centre forwards. Our centre mid gapey, he didn't realise I was there. I didn't even see him as well. And he's gone bam. He's come straight into me with his forearm right into my ribs here. I was like, <gasps> I remember thinking at the time, oh, that doesn't feel too good. But at the same time, it didn't feel too bad. I thought um, it might just be bruised or whatever. I played the whole game. And as the game went on, I did start noticing like a little bit of weakness in the area when I was coming up against their strikers or their front men. It didn't feel 100% right. However, going into games, and this is so common by the way, everyone's loaded up on anti inflams and painkillers, kind of masks the pain. It wasn't until the next day, that night, when I was trying to sleep, I was actually um, thinking, mm, maybe this isn't right here. And it's because all the painkillers and anti inflams started to wear off. Early start this morning, so I'm just stopping off at Starbucks, a quick coffee. If anyone's interested in my morning routines, by the way, I'm gonna release a video showing you exactly what I do from the minute I wake up until I get to the training ground. And it's something that you guys can implement into your days. Just leave a little comment down below, write morning routine or something, and I'll make it happen. So as I was saying, if you guys got any niggles or you're going into games feeling a little bit of pain in certain areas, don't worry too much about it because I guarantee you in professional football, 95% of the time, people are playing with niggles and injuries and we're taking painkillers and anti inflams to kind of mask the pain. It's very, very rare that I'll go into a game feeling 100% pain and niggle free. This is obviously what happened on Saturday. So it was only that evening, actually probably the next morning when the painkillers and anti inflams started wearing off that I actually noticed my rib was a little bit too sore for my liking. Didn't complain about it because I just thought, you know what, I've, ma I've managed to play a whole game here. Although there were times in the games where I felt weak, lacking mobility when it comes to sort of like rotating my upper body. Got through Monday, Tuesday training, had Wednesday off to, to give it more time to heal, Thursday training. Got to Friday now. The day before the Sheffield Wednesday game, I don't know what happens. I'm up against Ali Al Hamadi here and he's got his back to me. And even now watching it back, I can't work out what happened because it has one of the worst pains I've ever had on a football pitch. I don't know if his arm or his elbows pushed the rib back towards like the lining on of the wall of my lung or heart and it's given me this mad pain. I felt like I couldn't breathe for about 30 seconds. With less than 24 hours until kickoff, I couldn't really do much apart from ice it and load back up on the painkillers, etc. Get to Sheffield Wednesday, warm up, doesn't feel great. But I'm thinking, look, just get through the game, I sit all next week, hopefully it'll settle down. However, the game kicks off, and it's probably the worst I've felt in the game in a long time. Adrenaline, plus painkillers, numbing creams, etc. they weren't enough to stop the pain. And were, I noticed it in the game, which is probably one of the most physical contests I was gonna have all season. But there were times I was getting bullied, I just lacked any sort of core strength, struggled to move well. The, the day after the game, got a scan on it and it showed a fractured rib. But because of where it is, it could potentially be problematic because it can kind of like push back into your lung, cause punctures and whatnot, so we don't want that. On a more positive note, I'm finally close to getting back on the grass in training today, see what the, uh, the physio's got in store for me, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> And them boots gonna be white, Anis. They're not my boots. They're something else. They are minging. They're not my boots. 
<laughs> Unacceptable. All the boys just gone out to training. I'm actually not on the grass here. I'm doing one day on, one day off at the minute. And I did a little bit of work yesterday for the first time. Did a bit of running on the treadmill. I just did the standard four falls. So four minutes on, two minutes off. Put the incline on level one to replicate running outdoors. And I did speeds 15, 15 again, 15.5. And I dropped it back down to 15 kilometers per hour. So I'm a little bit off it at the minute. Normally when I'm at my fittest, I'll do around 16.5. It's going to take me a while. I wouldn't normally even have this much time off in the off season let alone in the season so i'm gonna to have to quickly try and get back into the uh into the swing of things sent me some grip socks and fresh pair of boots i've been wearing these boots oh this CeeLo anyway for last five six seasons and now they've just become an absolute myth nightmare to get hold of you see the soles right these here aren't anti-clog and i just don't like it when the pictures get muddy and boggy I feel like my boots get heavier even though they are a lighter boot I find myself in games like picking off mud and grass off the sole of my boot oh my god i'm missing a stud i've just realized the studs come out wow i think i must have played that whole game against chef word about a stud jesus um anyway that's a revert to the no sock phantom venoms the anti-clog sole yeah they're a little bit heavier but I'm a centre half. I'm not going to be doing step overs in a game. Don't need my feet to be that quick. I'm going to wear these for the first time tomorrow. Let me know if you guys prefer the anti clog sole, if you do wear Nikes, or if you prefer the pro plate with no anti clog, which are a little bit lighter. Interesting one. And I'm kind of uh, caught in two minds about it. You're missing it, Josh. Yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually starting off with the blood flow restriction cuffs. Quick and effective way to build muscle mass without actually fatiguing your legs too much. So not putting much pressure through the joints, doing a lot of high reps, and tomorrow I won't be feeling that domsy. So I'll be able to do another session on the pitch, do another leg session, and all will be good. Starting off with just free exercise on these. Mainly quad base. I'm gonna do leg extensions, single leg split squats, and I'm gonna be doing some Swiss ball squats against the wall. Yeah, on this guy. Comes in after training every day, but he's top off. Embarrassing. <laughs> I've really got you, bro. Gee, there's chicks on this channel as well, bro. You're buzzing. I have a trim, man. This is recording. When I get trim, I'll go straight to the. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kurt, great form, that. <laughs> Taking them off, such a relief. A couple more leg exercises now without these on. That'll be me for this morning. <sighs> that session was not easy by any means. Kian, our head physio, well, head of medical. And he gives you a session, you know it's gonna be tough, but it's so worth it afterwards, you feel great. And he's actually doing private work now, Kian. And this is our big boss, this is the top dog at the club. I'll leave his Instagram handle down below. If any of you guys are suffering with any niggles, injuries, you need someone to, uh, to sort you out, he's the guy to go and see. So um, don't be afraid to hit him up and let me know how it does go if you do get in with him. Genuinely, first time I've touched the ball, two and a half weeks. This guy bringing out my tripod. I've already beat you at two touch, so you want to play me? Bear now? in mind, this is the first time I've touched the ball in three weeks. Yeah, I'm no still going to beat you. No worries, mate. Because I need revenge. Where is it? Here? No, no, yeah. we need to do it on a side where you can see. Jeez, angles and that. <laughs> so you're in the best form of your life. Yeah. And I've not touched the ball in three weeks. You should obliterate me here. Which I will. Can't hit the bottom black. Yeah, top black we can hit. Top black we can hit. But if it goes dang, dang, that don't count. So cool. replay. One touch. One touch. I'd say we Telly's played up. this before. Oh, straight in. You can play on it. You can play on the crossbar. Oh, cool, yeah, you can play. <laughs> <laughs> will we play points? Will we play points? Yeah. For you. Well, don't go for that. <laughs> oh my I'm rusty. god! I'm rusty. He's so bad. I'm rusty. Now I should have to go to the car park to get the ball. One nil you. You're serve now. Does that count? Yeah. 
Oh, that's out! <laughs> oh, I just clocked that! <laughs> hey, it's 2-0! These guys are a troll, you know? Try. Yes. Hey! Oh. Yeah! Big point! This guy tried to attack the net like flipping Federer, you know? What game tomorrow, Anis? More important things. Oh. Tash, you're injured. I'm injured, but I'm uh, doing my way up. Oh, no, my point. Hit, hit post, cross, post, cross, cross, cross. It's a cheap point, man, isn't it? <laughs> Every single game, I just win. I'm just a winner, man. Oh, three, one. I'm a winner, straight. Is that it? Oh. My knee injured, man. <laughs> I shouldn't even vote. I don't even know why. Like, real. Come on, man. Right, move your <laughs> Let me put this guy in his place. Been out for three weeks. Come on. Play the game, man. 4-3. Come. Match point, Tafazoli. Yes, Dada. There it is. <laughs> it's an easy win. It's an easy win. <laughs> oh, you won last week. I won this week. One all. Yes. Michael, is it the scraps left? Scraps left. Yeah. All the hyenas been on, uh, eaten already. As long as there's veg <laughs> and a bit of turkey. Is that turkey? Pork. Pork. Oh no. We'll make do. Takeaway, yeah? yeah. Why well, there's no food left? You've been eating it all, George. Tuna, salad. Yeah, good, good enough for me. Cheers, Michael. Take these for a spin then. You having these or what, youngie? Vintage, but Classics. Oh, you received this ball, can you have a little scan? Youngie gives me the ball and it's on. Yes, tap. Yep. Play in first time, get a bounce from him and play in. Ben, twos. Yes, rules. Yes, Ben. Two rules. Ali. Ooh. Yes, wait. Absolutely sent me to the shop to that. Oh, yeah, I'm having these boots, by the way. I feel techy, you know. I feel like uh, I've lost half a boot. Well, effectively, I haven't like no sock anymore, so I feel a lot lighter. I feel like I'll be able to ping well in them. So we'll see. Um, rib feels totally fine. Heart rate, lungs. I'm monitoring it on my Garmin. And yeah, I'm blowing. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one. Go on then. <laughs> Doing four sets of this, run 30 meters and back in 10 seconds, and then you go on the 30, so you have around 20 seconds rest. Four reps, four sets. How long rest do we have now, Ben? Just until we get our normal breathing rate back. Let's aim for a minute. A minute, yeah? We're gonna go again in a minute. Cool, we've got 40 seconds then. Three, two, one. As far as first sessions back go, that one was spicy. After not touching the ball for so long, all you want to do is touch a ball. The four fours. 10 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Felt strong. Gonna do a little bit of gym this afternoon. 
get to the game. We are actually playing against my old team here, Peterborough. I was there for three years. Fantastic club. Got a good manager. Took me to hold with him. Grant McCann, Cliff Burney assistant. I've never actually played against Peterborough in my whole career. Must be one of 72 that I've not actually played against. Played for them, but I've never come up against them. Unfortunately, I'll be missing out today as well. Hopefully, I'll be fit. Well, I will be fit when we play them away. This is massive today. We need a win. Woohoo! What have we got here then? That is going to be unbelievable content. Just who's going to put it up? I managed to get down to David Lloyd's just in the nick of time after training this morning before the game. Just did a bit of hip, core, groin stuff. All the boring stuff that you've got to stay on top of, especially when you've been out for a long time. I almost forgot, I've not told you guys. I've got a new car, so I got rid of my Mercedes. Served its purpose, had it for what, five years now? Did a good job. For you guys that know your cars, you probably already noticed that I'm in something new. Here it is, I've got the Range Vogue. Some of my mates got a Sport, I thought I'd just go for as big as possible. Being six foot five, I need something comfortable and luxurious and I've only had it a week but first impressions obviously it's sick it's an upgrade on the Merc it's got some cool features as well like in here for example still getting used to it some cool features <laughs> and here obviously you've got a fridge got a water bottle in there did you show me the water bottle? <laughs> <laughs> nice and cool get out of here we're doing a Range Rover tutorial here um, obviously on here You've got the seats. This here is the best thing for me because obviously going into training. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> going, I've lost my neck. I've not done it for a few weeks. What I would say, the only thing that's been slightly annoying is you see these seats, right? They curve on the outsides here. When I'm on long journeys, I start to feel it digging in. They're meant to be really comfortable and luxurious. That's what Range Rovers are renowned for, but it's just kind of been a little bit of a problem. I've had a little play around with the um, seat controls, but I can't quite get it right. I prefer the flatter seat, which I had in my Mercedes. I don't know if that's just me being a bit snobby or what, but um, it is a little uncomfortable. Better head down to the uh, stadium. I look horrific, please don't include that. You look good. No, please don't include that. You better start looking good because obviously I'll be no, cleaning hey. up with the range. No, Call this the milf catcher. <laughs> <laughs> don't include that. I'm not kidding. You can't use that. No, I look absolutely horrific. Please delete that this instant. Why are girls like this? You love the camera. That's all you do is record every day. You look, and I think you look really nice today, babe. Thanks. All right. Bye, babe. See ya. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Oh, wait. Hey. Hello, my darling. You're you all right? right. How's things? Yeah. Did you not recognise me in this new car? Tough, that is. Player. No. Are you oh. not? I didn't, and you were holding the camera there, and I thought. You're still not fit? Not fit, just not fit just yet, but I will be training next week. Oh good, we need you back. Thank we you, got thank you. Have you got any uh, spaces? They should be, yeah. <laughs> right. See you soon. See you soon, bye. bye. I just got to the ground. This is where I start to feel the butterflies in my stomach for the boys. We need to win today, like I said earlier. Someone actually said to me, Taff, you know the last nine games you played at home, you've not conceded a goal. It's like, what? You've not conceded a goal at home since 2021, which is crazy. It's a shame that I'm not playing today. The boys will do it. We've got a strong team out. We've got Brandon back. He's on the bench. Absolute problem up front. Nightmare to play against, even in training for me. So that's a massive plus. But let's just see what happens. <laughs> Young lad borrows. As soon as he got it, it's cut inside. And just, I don't know if Max was unsighted. It's all right, it's still early on. TJ, man, you're watching Barcelona, don't you? I'm watching Ivan Tony penalties. <laughs> <laughs> you're a mad guy, bro. Have you got him in your fantasy team? <laughs> no, I got Mitrovic, Haaland, and Jesus. Bro, I don't know why. I, why have I not got Ivan Tony in my fantasy team? I've, baller, I've played with the guy, I know what he's capable of. Fulham scored Mitrovic. Yeah? Mitrovic. Come on. This is my team. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deal. You dumb me. Big goal. Wingy. 
switches out to Jace, wins the first ball, flicks it to Voxy, wins the second ball, and then G Man is there at the back post for a tap in. Good up. After the goal, responded so well. Can I get a photo, please? Fuck, what are you just found? <laughs> what? Go get your boots on, put the f***ing camera down, cuz. What are we doing? Come on, you're on two. Go, go. Tap it, tap it. 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 Tap Quick half time tutor. Oi, <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I can't bring back, look. Let's go. I'm on one, I'm on. You go on two. Nice! Right in. Oh, don't go for that, man. No. Hey, hey, no, no, refusal. No, 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 no. Refusal. That was it, that was it, that was it, that Standards, decent. Fuck it out! Your ass is on fire, mate. You stink. Come on! About two minutes left. Very tense. Hold on. Alice is in. Oh, 